I have a family with a history of cancer. So I started having abnormal mammograms uh, in my 20s. The course of treatment was recommended bilateral mastectomy. Um, that was uh, a big and scary uh, decision to make. I was Mark Hertzlick, ACC Defensive Player of the Year, future NFL linebacker. And in three seconds, this time it took for him to say, you have cancer. Basically, I went from that to, if everything goes perfectly, we should be able to get Mark walking without a cane. My little girl who had been developing and hitting milestones started slowing down in her development. And we were told something was wrong and she had a seizure disorder of unknown origin and she started the first of what would be eight seizure medications. We were just fortunate that a geneticist happened to read about the genetic test and submitted Kira's blood work for the test. At the time Kira was tested, Quest Diagnostics was the only company screening for SCN1A. Quest Diagnostics has a test, the BRCA test. It helped Angelina Jolie, helped me. It helps give information so that people can make the right decision, they can have treatment that will save lives. Weird, but not, I wasn't excited about where I was. I was excited that it sounded like someone knew what was wrong with me. The diagnostic features that Quest presents saved my life. The new advancements in technology that your company developed are the reason why my leg didn't get amputated immediately. The information that we gained from testing through Quest gave us the dreaded answer we were looking for, which was the diagnosis of Gervais syndrome. is a rare and catastrophic form of epilepsy for which there is currently no cure, but it gave us the most hope we could have because we knew what path we needed to take, what doctors we needed to see. A neurologist in Chicago suggested we try the ketogenic diet. Within two weeks of starting the diet, her daily myoclonic jerks completely stopped. Kira started walking and talking again. I know how fortunate she is that she received an early diagnosis. I didn't know about the testing about the fact that you can have um, a genetic predisposition for cancer. Um, had I not had the BRCA testing, I, you know, probably would have um, died young. People told me I'd never play football again, right? I come home and I get a call from Coach Coughlin, who's the head coach of the New York Giants. He said, Mark. I want you to the New York Giants because I think you can help us win. And that meant something to me. That meant that everything was in my past. When I decided to have a second child, I did prenatal screening. And it gave me a huge peace of mind knowing that I had a healthy child. It wouldn't have changed the outcome. I still would have had the baby, but I was able to relax and know he's okay. He doesn't have Gervais. To get the BRCA testing meant that um, I had a different choice. My mother didn't make it to 50, and I, I look forward to 50 now. I mean, I like not being 50, but it's, it's really close now. But no one gets diagnosed with anything and says, oh, let's go out there and let's find the second best technology we can find. Let's get the second best tests and the second best doctors and we will be all set. No one says that. They want the best, they want the leader. Well, who's the leader in diagnostic testing? 